ट्रांसक्रिप्शन नंबर ट्वेंटी फोर बे रेडी स्टार्ट मैडम डिप्टी चेयरमैन आई राइज टू सपोर्ट द बिल विच हैज बीन मूवड बाय द ऑनरेबल मिनिस्टर ऑफ स्टेट इन द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ होम अफेयर्स दिस बिल इनकॉर्पोरेट्स सर्टन सेंटिमेंट्स विच the country holds so dear as far as the office of president is concerned and also incorporates the faith of the people in themselves that when they will elect a president the person who would be occupying the high post would be a person who would have not only the love and affection of the people but would be as the honorable minister pointed out a dedicated politician whose whole life is dedicated to the service of the nation before he became the president during his occupation of the office of president and even after he retired from that office it is this confidence of the people in themselves and the high love and affection which they hold for this office which have resulted in this particular bill being considered by the house at the present moment the honorable minister has pointed out that the president who has just retired has fulfilled all the requirements which are the basis of this particular measure and the measure which was passed in 1951 i wish that he had mentioned the last governor general also to whom both the measures apply whatever whether we may agree or may not agree with the last governor general on some of the political views that he holds there can be no two opinions that the last governor general was also an illustrious son and is an illustrious son of this country and deserves all the consideration all the love and all respect of the country which are being incorporated in the present measure and were incorporated in the 1951 act while therefore fully supporting the measure which is now before the house i would like certain clarifications regarding the rules that are going to be made for giving effect to the provisions which have been incorporated in the present bill in the statement of objects and regions we are told that a person holding the high office of president has even after retirement many public calls on him and it is therefore considered desirable to provide him with secretarial staff it is further stated that the bill provides for a staff which may be engaged for the president a staff might be appointed for him and office space might be provided for him it is because of this 
that certain misgivings have arisen in the minds of some of the members and they want it to be made perfectly clear that the staff will be appointed not only for the ex president but will be appointed by the ex president and it will be his wishes and his desires that will be taken into account when a particular person is being appointed also regarding the office which is engaged for him his wishes should be taken into account so that he knows what would be a convenient place for him and he may get that place another reason for insisting on what i consider to be an important detail is that if the government appoints the staff for the ex president then automatically they become government servants because they have been appointed by the government it may be that in the rules a clarification might be up attempted whereby they may be exempted from some of the service conduct rules which are applicable to normal government servants but even there it will be much better that this should not be left in any doubt and that these persons that are appointed to assist the ex president in his secretarial task are appointed by the ex president himself they would be the staff of the ex president and would not be appointed by the government for the ex president and would not be government servants this point ought to be made quite clear so that the ex president has got all the right of determining the service conditions of the people appointed by him of course subject to the overall limit which has been provided and to my mind rightly provided in the bill within that overall limit perhaps it will be much better to leave the rest of the matter to the president himself so that we may also express our further confidence in the president to the effect that he would utilize it with discretion and with all sense of responsibility and fair play and taking it into account the interests of the public and of the public exchequer too another point which also needs some clarification is regarding the payment to be made for the secretarial assistance and for the secretarial assistance normally government rules require that whenever any such demand is made on the public exchequer or on the consolidated fund of india a certain formality has to be gone through and that formality of accounting has to be in a prescribed form